In this video, we are going to plot a polar plot by using a open loop transfer function given. You can observe this problem here. The open loop transfer function of unity feedback system is given by g of s is equivalent to 1 by s into 1 plus s into s plus 2. This is the open loop transfer function of a closed loop system which is having unity feedback. That is why I take in g of s. So, if the description is open loop transfer function of a closed loop system, then definitely you will get g of s into h of s here. Why I am having only g of s here? This is open loop transfer function of a unity feedback closed loop system is g of s is equivalent to 1 by s into 1 plus s into s plus 2 sketch the polar plot. So, first of all we need to consider the first point is the transfer function, the given transfer function. I am going to consider my given transfer function g of s is equal to 1 by s into 1 plus s into s plus 2 or s plus 1 into s plus 2 you can consider. Now, here substitute s is equal to j omega. If I substituted s is equal to j omega, then this open loop transfer function will turns like this. So, 1 by j omega into j omega plus 1 j omega plus 2. So, like this we will get. Now, here to draw any polar plot, we need magnitude and phase of the open loop transfer function. Now, I am going to calculate the magnitude. Magnitude is equal to. So, to get the magnitude, we need to consider modulus of g of j omega. So, the modulus of this term is equal to. So, 1 by modulus of j omega. 1 by modulus of j omega means that is equal to omega. So, here 1 by j omega plus 1. For this, the modulus is 1 plus omega square. For this term, that means 1 by j omega plus 2. So, for this the modulus is 1 by, uh, 2 plus here 2 square that means 4 plus omega square, 4 plus omega square. So, now here this is the magnitude of the given open loop transfer function. So, now like this we need to find out the phase of the open loop transfer function. To find out phase phi, so here if you observe for this term 1 by j omega the phase angle will be minus 90 degrees because you are having j omega term in denominator. So, related to this term the phase angle is minus 90 degrees. So, here 1 by j omega plus 1 for this the phase angle is all the terms are in denominator that is why I am taking minus for phase angle. So, minus tan inverse b by a will be the angle phase angle. So, here this is b and this is a I am considering because a plus j b format. So, if you want to calculate phase angle tan inverse b by a that means omega by 1. Similarly, here minus as this term is also in denominator. So, minus tan inverse again b by a means omega by 2. So, this is phase angle and this is magnitude. I got my phase angle and I got my magnitude for the given open loop transfer function. To get my polar plot, I need to have value set omega is equal to 0 as well as omega is equal to infinity. At starting value of omega, what will be the values of magnitude and phase I need to observe? At ending value of omega, then also I need to observe what is the magnitude and phase. So, here I am considering omega is equal to 0. When omega is equal to 0, the magnitude is 0 into anything 0, 1 by 0 infinity. Infinity is magnitude and phase. Coming to phase, when omega is equal to 0, tan inverse 0, tan inverse 0, minus 90 degrees, minus 0, minus 0. So, I am having minus 90 degrees. So, this is magnitude and phase combination for omega is equal to 0. Now, omega is equal to infinity. If omega is equal to infinity, 
then magnitude is equivalent to 1 by infinity. So, infinity into anything infinity 1 by infinity means 0. So, magnitude is 0 coming to phase tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse infinity. So, tan inverse infinity means 90 minus 90 minus 90 minus 90 minus 270 degrees minus 270 degrees. Coming to the plot, coming to the plot, you already know which type of plot it will take because this is type 1 and order 3 system. Type 1 order 3 system means your plot will be like this. So, here at omega is equal to 0, you do not know the value but it will touch is minus 90 degrees line. So, this is imaginary line you can say. So, this is minus 90 or plus 270, this is plus 90 or minus 270, this is plus 180, this is minus 180. So, whatever it may be, here you can see it will touches minus 90 degree line at infinity omega is equal to 0 at omega is equal to 0 the plot will touch minus 90 degrees line at infinity. So, at infinity it will touches means I do not know where it will touches this line. So, that is why I am leaving like this I am leaving like this. So, the direction will be like this and coming to this point this is some somewhere at omega is equal to 0 it will touches. So, I do not know where omega is equal to 0 and at omega is equal to infinity then here it will touches minus 270 degrees at 0. So, definitely it became 0 in 270 degrees means there the frequency is omega is equal to infinity. So, that means it will touches 270 degrees at 0, it will touches 270 degrees at 0. 0 you can see here at 0. So, now here you can see this line, this line is interacting with this negative real axis, this is positive real axis and this is negative real axis. This is touching, this plot is touching the negative real axis at 180 degrees. This is touching negative real axis at 180 degrees. So, that means at omega we can substitute omega is equal to 180 degrees in this phase. We can equate 180 degrees to this. If you equate 180 is equal to minus 90 minus tan inverse omega minus tan inverse omega by 2. So, as this is interacting with this negative real axis at 180 degrees, you can equate this phase is equal to 180 degrees. If you are equating 180 degrees with this, you are going to get omega is equal to root 2. In some other problems, you are going to get some other angle equal to this phi and you will get omega value. Whatever omega value you are getting, and you need to substitute in this. You need to substitute in this means, so here in magnitude you need to substitute this omega value. You just substitute omega is equal to root 2 here and you just calculate the value is nearly 0.85 something. Now clearly the point is the polar plot is going to interact the negative real axis at omega is equal to root 2 and the polar coordinates are 0.85 comma 180 degrees. If that is minus 180 you can consider minus 180. If that is plus 180 you can consider plus 180. So, whatever the angle your plot is touching that angle you need to consider. So, here this is the meaning sometimes they will ask like this also where your polar plot will touches negative real axis 
where your polar plot touches negative real axis means so your polar plot is touching or not first we need to see yes it's touching negative real axis where it is touching means so first of all you need to equate this angle with this face so you will get omega value at value of omega is equivalent to my uh, root 2 your polar plot is going to touch here omega is keep on increasing from 0 to infinity at infinity this will be 0 when omega is equivalent to root 2 this is the point at omega is equivalent to root 2 at this point your polar plot is going to touch this negative real axis the coordinates of this point is 0 0.85 comma 180 degrees so like this we need to draw polar plot and we can mention at which frequency, at which frequency your polar plot is touching real or imaginary axis.